Hey YouTube, I'm Steve Post from Motor Racing Network. We are glad you've joined us here on the YouTube channel. We've got another huge collection of cars in from Lionel. Started down on the end, the double mint colors of Kyle Busch from Joe Gibbs Racing, the bright green colored car. They've been running this paint scheme once or twice a year for the last few years, and I just love when they roll out this car in the bright green colors of this car. This next one, real special, the Peak Antifreeze Clint Boyer car. Clint with Michael Walter Bracing, and if you are going to Kansas this weekend, we have this car and other Clint Boyer stuff at a Plan B sales store. It's at 10940 Parallel Parkway in the Piper Plaza, not far from the racetrack, within a mile of the racetrack as a matter of fact. Danny's and the UPS store are in that same plaza. You can check us out and we have got Clint Boyer's new car. This just in, we actually air freighted it out there so you would have it out at Kansas this weekend. Danica Patrick's bright pink GoDaddy.org car that she has raced along the way. Jeff Gordon's Pepsi Max car. He runs the Pepsi Max callers a time or two a year, and this an absolute beauty. While we're talking about Jeff Gordon, the Chase Credit Card Chevrolet from Hendrick Motorsports for Jeff Gordon. And this one here, real neat story with Tony Stewart's Ritz car. This is the Nationwide Series, the winning car from the race at Daytona. Now, a lot of times with race winning cars, we'll see the confetti and we'll see all of the excitement of the celebration. Remember this race though? This was a very subdued victory lane. At the end of this race was the crash where Kyle Larson's car got up into the catch fence. And we wondered if all of the fans up in the stands were all right. Had a couple injured down there. A very subdued victory lane. So rare to have a race winning car that doesn't have all the confetti on it. But that's what we have with Tony Stewart's Nationwide Series winning car from the 300 mile Nationwide Series race down at Daytona earlier this year. So that's the standard finish cars that we have this week. Now some color chrome machines. First off, we'll start with Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Amp Energy Color Chrome uh, Chevrolet from Hendrick Motorsports. Always good and always popular with Dale Earnhardt Jr. The Pepsi Max car. We have the standard finish down here for Jeff Gordon, and we have the color chrome as well. This is a real special race car, the American Diabetes Association-sponsored Nationwide Series car. The Ford Mustangs for Roush Fenway Racing. Ryan Reed, a young man that has an amazing story is suffering from diabetes. A great story and a great die cast for Ryan Reed that we have available in the color chrome finish. Also have Brian Vickers' car, the Dollar General Toyota from Joe Gibbs Racing in color chrome as well. Now, back to Clint Boyer. We talked about him with the peak car down here. Here is the stealth finish on the 5-hour Energy Toyota for Clint Boyer. Now NASCAR salutes, another finish that we've had throughout the year, the quick and loan Chevrolet of Ryan Newman, his car from Stuart Haas Racing, and here is the red, white, and blue, the Miller Lite, the Blue Deuce, for Brad Keselowski in the NASCAR salutes theme that we had earlier this year. So that covers our 124th scale cars. Now let's talk a little bit about 164th scale cars. We're going to start down here with David Reagan, the peanut patch car, the Ford from Front Row Motorsports. It's an awful good looking race car, and David's done a nice job throughout this year. Mentioning David Reagan, and we talked a little bit about our store in Kansas that's open for this race weekend. It's at 10940 Parallel Parkway. It's in the Piper Plaza. There's a Danny's restaurant there. There's also a UPS store in that plaza. So David Reagan, along with his teammate David Gilliland, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. are going to be there signing autographs Saturday evening, 5 five thirty range. They're going to be there doing autographs, so make sure you stop out, buy some merchandise, and get to meet some of the great drivers in NASCAR Sprint Cup Series racing at David Reagan's car also will be out there as well. We've got Jeff Gordon's Exalta Chevrolet from Hendrick Motorsports. The Janney King Colors on Eric Almarola's car from Petty Racing. Here is the Axe Polo, number 42 for Juan Pablo Montoya. One of the unique paint schemes we've had throughout the year with Juan Pablo Montoya for Earnhardt Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabatis. A classic car, the old Chevy of Rob Moroso. One of the great young drivers who tragically we lost way too early in his career, but this is a car celebrating his great young career in NASCAR Cup Series racing. Carl Edwards' classic fast and all Ford that we have, the bright blue and white colors that we see so many times on that machine. Trevor Bain, one of his Ford Mustangs that he wheels for Roush Fenway Racing on the nationwide side. Here is the Bell Helicopter sponsored car for Jamie McMurray from Earnhardt Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabatis. The State Water Heaters colors for Ryan Newman for Stuart Haas Racing. We've got another Danica Patrick car, the hot pink car in 164th scale. And where we started will end with the double mint Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing for Kyle Busch. 
So all of these cars available. Now I want to mention again, the store near Kansas Speedway. Within a mile of the Speedway, it's in the Piper Plaza. There's a Danny's Bar and Grill and a uh, UPS store there in the plaza. Make sure you stop over at our store there. Driver autograph session, Saturday, 5, 530 range with David Reagan, David Gilliland, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. On this YouTube video, stay tuned right after we get done because we've got a special message we want to send out in a post-video show. Now, all of this diecast that we have, all of these great cars, they're available at your local diecast dealer or at planbsales.com. We love that you guys are getting involved with us here on YouTube. We have the comments below. Feel free to mention your comments here. Follow us on Twitter, at Plan B Sales, and we'll keep you informed on what we have. And please get some back and forth conversation going because we love talking racing and love talking with you race fans out there, and we appreciate the business you do give us. All right, something a little different here. This is our post-video show that we have. We love your comments on the YouTube forum, the section below this video. So make your comments and ask your questions. And we're going to start off with this question from Ian NASCAR 48. His question to me was, what is your favorite diecast of the year? Well, Ian, that's a great question. This one is a no-brainer to me. My favorite diecast of the year is my favorite car of the year. It is the classic. STP number 43 that Eric Almirola has ran a couple times this year. This diecast just came in mid part of September, so it's new in stock here, or relatively new. But this is my favorite diecast because this is my favorite car of the year. Anything with this petty red and blue has just been a beautiful race car, and we really love watching that car race out on the racetrack this year. So, Ian, we appreciate your comments down below, and everyone else. Get into your comments. Who knows? Maybe you'll make it into the post-YouTube video show somewhere down the road.